This one really did not want to be put down at all. I'm gonna use some magic today. Don't we all wish that's how it worked? So yesterday was definitely a new experience for me as a mother. This one really did not want to be put down at all. In fact, he was quite vocal about how mad it was making him to not be held. So I had to dig around and look for um, Kaya's wrap. So this is a wrap that I bought on Amazon. I think it was like 20 bucks and um, it was meant to be Kaya's carrier. And I just thought like, I really need to have my hands. So I tried it with him and he loved it. I actually have a picture where he just has this, the sweetest face. He's like, okay, I like this. But I really didn't want to use this one. I wanted an orange one, of course. So I took to Amazon and I found some orange ones, but they were $75. And we were not about to spend $75 on one measly wrap. So I went to Hobby Lobby. Unfortunately, I did miss the sale by one day. 40% off would have been nice. But this really wasn't a bad price for five and a half yards. It takes five and a half yards to make a wrap. And then I got um, two different materials that I think are gonna be great. I am planning to use the pink wrap as a pattern of sorts. And I think I think because the width is like 56 on these, I think I might be able to get two wraps out of both cuts of fabric. So if this works out, I might have a couple of baby wrap carriers um, on the Etsy site. I think I am gonna start with this rainbow one. It's a nice, yeah, I think this is gonna work out good. But I don't have fabric to, or um, I don't have thread to match this. So I'm, I'm gonna start with this one today. Hey buddy, look at you. <laughs> Oh my gosh, his toes are just poking through this newborn size. He's gonna be out of newborn. I used to have to roll these like up to here. He's growing so fast. I think he's falling asleep so I can recline him. Sweet little guy's in a way better mood today. Yeah! <laughs> All right, let's see how long five and a half yards of fabric is. Whew, man, I am out of shape. I guess that's what two months of bed rest in the hospital will do to you. Can't even lay some fabric out. As you can see, this wrap <laughs> and my fabric are five and a half yards long, which explains why it's so expensive to get just a little piece of fabric to wrap around your body. But $75, no. So what I'm gonna do is fold the fabric in half and then fold the wrap in half from the middle part here and then sort of use the shape of it as, as a pattern. And then really, this is just a rolled edge on the serger, so it's gonna be super easy to make. I think the hardest part is gonna be laying it out and cutting it out. I am working on that too, by the way. Yesterday, I did 100 jumping jacks, which I know is not a big feat but for me after oh, being on bed rest see just getting up is, is ridiculous um it was hard it was very hard it was hard on my knees it was hard like around 30 was when i started feeling like oh my gosh i really and i used to do a thousand jumping jacks a day like in the morning i'd do increments of a hundred and then like you know go do something and then do another set of a hundred i was just sort of my cardio and uh Doing just 100 yesterday was rough. And I'm definitely feeling it today. But um, it's time. It's time to get um, back into shape and, and you know, not just, you know, losing baby weight or anything, but really, like, gain my strength back from being on bed rest for a couple of months. You weren't having the, the reclined state, were you? Yeah, you needed to be inclined. You needed your throne. Oh. Grimaces. Yeah, whenever he falls asleep, I try to recline him because this position's not good for their airway. But every once in a while when I recline him, he, he realizes what I've done. 
<laughs> he was like, no, no, lady, put me back up. Yeah, you look like you're gonna fall asleep at some point. You're gonna have to let me recline you. He's like, no, I will fight it. I will fight it with every fiber of my being. I think he finally surrendered. Ooh, pardon my, my breathing. <laughs> I have it folded and this is exactly where the halfway point is. So now I just have to pin it down and then cut it out. And as you can see, there's plenty there to make a second wrap. Oh, you just wanted to be with mama, huh? That's all you wanted. Well, I gotta finish and hurry up and make your little wrap so you can always be on me. He woke up kind of irritated and I thought maybe he was too hot in his sleeper, so I changed him. And that didn't do the trick, so I think he just wants to be on me again today and I might have to hurry up and cut out the wrap so I can put the pink one back on and put him in there. I think he just wants to hear mommy's heartbeat or something. Yeah. Okay, so we had a little bit of a rest. Here's the excess fabric. So I got uh, the two the two carriers cut out there. And this is the excess. And I'm probably going to find something to do with it because that's, that's a lot of fabric. But yeah, here are the two carriers. All right, let's see how this is going to work out. Mommy's back to put on her shoulders like that. Mm-hmm. Oh, so tired, huh? It's hard work. Just like Mommy's 100 jumping jacks. It's tough. <laughs> You can do it. Look at you. Oh, I know. It's rough. Good job, though. Good job. Oh, oh, look at you. Oh, my goodness. You're so strong. Oh. <laughs> Cameron brought me some sustenance. Riri wants my food. You can't have it. Nobody can have it. No. <laughs> no, you just look like an idiot. Thanks, <laughs> wife. Oh, Ooh. now he's doing it. <laughs> I love you. Daddy got to go back to work, but I love you. Daddy went bye-bye. He'll be back. Look, you got a package. Shall we see what Grandma got for you? Ooh. Let's see what this is. Oh my God, it is perfect. <laughs> well, now that lunch is over, I get to take these. Yum. I might have to continue my sewing tomorrow because I don't think he's going to let me do anything else today and I don't want to stretch out the pink wrap again because I just washed it last night to shrink it back down. Is he your human now? So we are gonna pick up where we left off with the serger. So I'm not gonna go into too much detail about um, threading the machine and changing the tensions for a rolled edge. This is the rolled edge. I just tested it out. But for my machine in particular, I will link a, a proper tutorial on how to do that in the description box below. So if you happen to have this model and make, um, that, that'll work out perfectly for you. I'm excited this is gonna be much needed today because he's very much not wanting to be in his bassinet right now. Now, just to have 
11 yards because I have to go one way and then back up the other way. Um, yeah, we're gonna do that right now and it's gonna take a while, but you'll get the fast version. Are you happy? Yeah, you happy there? Because mama's gonna be at this machine for a minute. This thing is finished and just in time. You're ready to try it, aren't you? All right, here it is. Yeah, Riri, hands free is the way to be. <laughs> just kidding. Um, I love it though. I can't wait to make the orange one, obviously. Um, yeah, I, that was really fun and easy way easier than I thought it would be. And this guy's happy. Well, it's gonna be it for this vlog. I have to run out to my first postpartum chiropractic adjustment, which is gonna be amazing. Can't wait. As always, thank you so much for watching. Let me know if you like videos like this where I sort of vlog, but also have like a mini tutorial of sorts. Not really a tutorial, but you know, just <laughs> sewing in general. Let me know if you like seeing that kind of stuff and uh, I'll just, I'll do it more because I love sewing and it makes me happy. So um, anyway, see you next time, bye. See, this is why I got a love seat too, because I knew this was gonna happen.